Have you seen someone who sits in a business class? You know he's not supposed to be there. Everything around his life says you are not yet here. You are sitting in a business class. Your shoe is betraying you. Your, you don't know anybody there. You don't have relationships that support that level of result. It's a physical reality you have not yet arrived in. You are holding a rubber ring. Life will push you back to where your mindset really makes you. But when you grow, ah, I wish I were not the one teaching this. But it is true. Listen, from that one room, you can start growing. You are learning. What is the mentality of great people? What does it take to have a great ministry? What is the mentality of uncommon leaders? Not what is their results. Don't go around admiring people's results and laying on your hands and just claiming, claim their mindset. You don't need to forget about the results. If the mindset is yours, the signs that follow that mindset will come. Listen, there are some of you, the mindset you have, you will never be able to cross one million in your account. Even if they give you 10 million, 9 million will disappear mysteriously through carelessness, through whatever, and reduce you back to that realm. Because that is the realm your mind can take. Believe me, every ministry expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders there. Every business expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders. Every home expands to reflect the mindset of the parents. Every nation expands to reflect the mindset of their leaders. Singapore was turned from a third world nation to a first world nation not because something came from heaven and landed there superior ideas Dubai was turned into a heaven yes they've not given their life to Christ in as much as we know but they are living on heaven in heaven now as far as paradise is concerned on earth someone can sit down and see a whole sea and yet in it he's seen something else God, may God give us the miracle of superior belief systems in the name of Jesus Christ three keys to transit in mentally number one exposure exposure is a powerful blessing exposure is a double-edged sword it can kill and it can make there is a kind of exposure that will sorry to use that word it will rape your mindset you can be exposed wrongly and from that day you will never be patient towards life again but there is a correct exposure what is exposure broadening your horizon opening you up to the possibilities that exist beyond your frame of reference exposure until you watch a miracle if you watch somebody rise from a wheelchair in front of you you will not doubt it again sometimes god lifts us by taking us to places even though we are not really ready for it he keeps you there and you don't know what is happening to you till you leave that place you will be angry with where you are going back to that's a miracle and you make up your mind that in the name of jesus i won't be at this level again jesus was born in nazareth but he refused to allow Nazareth live in him. At age 12, when his contemporary teenagers were running up and down, he was investing in his mind, even though he was the son of God. As a result, in three years, he took the world and said, I'm done, and levitated with honor back to heaven. Africa, we must wake up. The problem is not lack of mineral resources. The problem is not only leadership. Leadership is there, but more than leadership, we are victims of our thinking. The many years of servitude has done something to us. The color of your skin, does not have an effect on your mind your background and where you come from does not have an effect on your mind there are no second-class citizens on earth except you make for yourself he that cometh from above the moment you receive Jesus you are born into a superior class of living this is a fact please make up your mind that you will not be small again make up your mind that you will not be small that what my father did not give me my children will eat it where i could not go you can't transfer the same mediocrity to your children it's okay that okay those who came before you could not go that far don't keep giving flimsy excuses while life is passing you and it does not come by hustling hustling is a demonic strategy what circumspectly as wives hustling is why people don't give god the glory the bible says except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city he said the watchmen watch it but in vain it is vain to wake up early in the morning to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives his beloved sleep we have systems of advantage in this kingdom we are not left alone the favor of god is there the capacity to restore is there the gift of man there the ministry of the holy spirit showing you what to do part time shout i cannot fail please say it i cannot fail i reject failure if you confess like that and don't contend for transformation you will soon be angry with what you are saying because it will remain empty talk for a very long time there are people who have done it for many years oh i will not fail yet they keep going down confession is powerful but it's not the only key to the success equation contend for transformation more than the clothes you buy invest in your mind buy materials 
superior materials technology has made it very easy for transformation with data of next to nothing you can settle down and watch videos and materials that that are consistent with scripture that edify you get all my teachings on them on mindsets they are free get them go online search for them they are free let the holy spirit do a work you have to understand how the mind thinks i'm sorry to say it, but secular education school does not teach people how to think no achievement is a science there are exact equations that produce achievement results you must sustain the ability to replenish and here's where it lies so you don't fear your success i submit to you in the name of jesus christ that the results that we see and we rejoice with it is ultimately god's doing but he's given keys there is no fear in these results because it will remain so it did not come by magic it did not come by mistake it can be replicated anywhere in the world and it is true you only fear when your result came by luck when it comes by knowledge knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom you can find rest listen like abraham he says from where thou art lift up your eyes i'm speaking to someone by the spirit from where you are not where you want to be from where you are you can make up your mind dr miles munro my eternally revered mentor changed my life radically was one of the first people the lord began to use to change my belief system i love him even in death bless his soul i heard his story how that he grew up in a family of how many people and they would look from their room and they could see the stars that was the level of the poverty and he made up his mind that things would not be this way but empty talk does not lead to results he began to contend for transformation by the truth more than clothes are we together philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 verse 8 philippians 4 verse 8 finally brethren finally koinonia whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just please look up whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things I never go for a meeting wondering will the power of God move will the sick be healed no 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 I have a mentality I never go alone I never go alone though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death thou art with me divine presence is a secret I know that his power his divine power I never come for a meeting wondering will people be blessed we're talking the power of the Holy Ghost here and the Lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following there will never be a week where there is no testimony here it's impossible god must bear witness the bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field knowing who you are is not being aggressive and insulting people around no that's insecurity there is a settled confidence i'm walking in power walking in miracles I expect favor every day every day honestly I really do I expect favor so you must trust God for grace write two scriptures down you can read them when you get home very quickly Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 7 the key verse is verse 5 Genesis chapter 11 11 I meant to say Genesis 11 this was the story of Nimrod Cush building that tower whose top will reach the heavens the Bible says, verse 4, since you've projected it, let's just look at 4 and 5 quickly. The Bible says, Nimrod, he began to market this idea. He started with an idea. Let us build a city whose top may reach the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered on earth. Look what happened in the realm of the spirit. Verse 5, while Nimrod was busy working on their minds, the Bible says, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men have finished building. Once their mindset received it, God saw a building rising in the spirit. And he came to say, what is happening? They've not started building on the ground. But their mindset was receiving it everything in life is built twice it is first built in your mind then it is built physically whatever is built physically and not built in your mind you will lose it but destroy anything physical if it's built in your mind the law says it must be rebuilt it's why wealthy people may go down they may have a season of some catastrophic events financially and otherwise and you see them smiling you are even crying for them and yet they are smiling they who are the victims because they know that they not only sustain the ability to be fruitful they have the ability to replenish you will only fear your results when you do not know the laws that produce it watch this i will always like to use people who cook imagine with me for a moment that you were to go and serve guests and while you were preparing the meal something happened 
and then everything just poured completely on the floor and then they give you two more hours or three more hours you will not be afraid again because you can still go back to the kitchen once the ingredients are there and you are the one who truly cooked it's trouble if you just bought it somewhere and the place is closed then you are in trouble but if you were the one who prepared it you can go back with confidence and even use the anger to make a better version of that thing and say what i forgot to add yesterday as i'm coming back now i'm adding it there 